Good morning, dear children. So before we begin the remaining part of the chapter, let us recall the story. We read about a boy named Patrick who hated doing his homework. He didn't bother to listen to his teachers or parents. On an Easter Sunday, he saw his cat playing with a tiny man who was actually an elf. When the elf asked Patrick to save him from the cat, Patrick made him promise to do his homework instead. And the little elf started doing the homework. Although he made Patrick help him in doing all the work. So now let us read further. When it came to mathematics, Patrick was out of luck. What are timetables? The elf screamed. Screamed means shouted. We elves never need that. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, division and fractions. Here, sit down beside me. You simply must guide me. So, when the elf started doing mathematics, I'm sure most of you love to do maths. He knew nothing about addition, subtraction, multiplication. So, he made Patrick sit beside him and guide him. Elves know nothing of human history. To them, it's a mystery. So, the little elf often shouted loudly, Go to the library. I need books. More and more books. And so Patrick helped the little elf by getting books and reading them to him. The little elf was a nag. Who is a nag? A, a person who keeps complaining to somebody about their behavior. He made Patrick work hard Every day. Finally, the last day of school arrived and the elf was free to go. As for the homework, there was no more. So the elf quietly slipped out of the back door and vanished. So, even history was a subject that the elf was unable to understand. So he asked Patrick to get more and more books from the library and made him read it out for him. The little elf still kept complaining and made Patrick work harder and harder every day. And finally, the term was about to end and Patrick had no more homework. So the little elf was free and quietly he slipped out of the back door and disappeared. So let us read. Patrick got A grade in all his subjects. His classmates were shocked. His teachers smiled and were full of praise. And his parents were proud of him. They wondered what had happened to Patrick. He was now the best example. He cleaned his room, did his course, was cheerful and never rude. In the end, Patrick thought, he made the elf do all his homework. But it wasn't the elf that did all the homework. Patrick had done it himself. So as a result of Patrick's effort in helping the elf and doing the homework, he got A grade in all the subjects. His classmates were surprised because it was beyond their expectations. His teachers praised him and were happy for him. His parents felt proud of him. Everybody was astonished and even Patrick's behavior changed. He kept his room clean, did all his daily work. He remained happy and cheerful and was also very polite now. Now the question is, what do you all think children? Was it the elf who did Patrick's homework or was it Patrick himself? It was Patrick himself because 
Didn't you see that the elf made him look into dictionaries, made him solve mathematical sums and refer books in the library and gradually he did his homework. So the moral of the story is hard work is the key to success. We should always do our work by our own self. Patrick learned his values and started to do his work himself. Now quickly we will go through the short questions. Who helped the elf to do the homework? Patrick helped the elf to do the homework. What did the elf ask for while doing the homework? The elf asked for a dictionary while doing the homework. What did Patrick do while the elf did the mathematical calculations? Patrick sat down beside him and guided him to do the mathematical calculations. Which subject was a mystery to the elves? Human history was a mystery to the elves. Where did Patrick bring the books from? Patrick brought the books from the library. How did he help the elf? He got the books and read them for the elf. What did the elf do when the homework was over? When the homework was over, the elf quietly slipped out of the back door and vanished. What grade did Patrick get? And what was his classmate's reaction? Patrick got an A grade. His classmates were shocked. So this is all for today. Write down the question answers neatly and the difficult words and learn them thoroughly. Thank you children.